Hey guys, it's Nick from Retro Games HQ, and today I'm talking about where you can find well, like pixel art palettes, which are kind of like retro game looking palettes. So this site, which is just go to l o s p e c dot com, as you can see the name up here, and then the is dot com. And once you go there, you have all these different things. You know, you have like pixel art tutorials, palette list, which is what we're looking at. They have a pixel editor. Pixel art uploader, where to start, you know, software list, uh, art uh, software list, uh, PNG crusher. They have multiple different things. Well, what we're going to be looking at though is the palette list, which you can find up top, and they have like all this other stuff if you're into uh, pixel art. And they have all these different palettes that you can download and look at. They have like a, you know, is it Earthbound Game Boy Plain Flavor palette? Um, see, and it shows you which colors they use. Like this one, pretty awesome pixel art, very sophisticated, and it has multiple colors. Then there's other ones that, for example, the Virtual Boy only has like four. Let me find one that has very few. In fact, I know one that has very few, and I like, well, there's two I could like that have very few. But you can go up here and look by tag, such as Game Boy, and they have really good Game Boy ones. Like this one. Like, look at that. That is just made with those four colors all of that is just made with those four colors now going down some you can see some more but one in particular well not this one but it does look like a original game boy screen one in particular i liked but i am biased because i love the franchise i know it's in here first off see you can have all these different colors and you have that but what i'm going to do is go to this one specific one which right now for some reason right here you have these four different colors, and it tells you the colors, and this is the what it can create. Of course, this is the game, but these are the colors that they used. So, palette used by Pokemon Red and Blue for certain elements when played on the Game Boy Color or Super Game Boy. Now, you can see the amount of downloads, if they have comments, things like here, but they also have a DB palette analysis. So, let's click on that, and it shows you what all you can do with it like it's, it's literally just an uh the, they use like a dawn bringer palette an analyzer which you can look more into it if um, they have like a page describing what it is you can insert certain palettes but you can see all the different variations what you can do it's pretty freaking awesome and you go down here and here's your downloads you can open the app which i think is their palette or not their palette their pixel art editor you can download for example png element this it yeah you see that little spec that's what that is and then you go here you get you get all the colors you know uh, you have gimp hex file paint text file pal file and a png which we go here it's pretty much the same thing but it's eight instead of 32 anyways that's where i've been looking at when i'm wanting to lately i've been looking at ways i can make my thumbnails better i've been thinking about it you know, I'm into retro games and monster taming games, that, especially the ones that cross over. So I was wondering where I could find some palettes that I could take inspiration from that look retro. And my thumbnails may be an experiment. Well, I found it, and here it is at L-O-S-P-E-C, so I guess lowspec.com. And that's all I wanted to show you for today. I just wanted to make this quick video to say, hey, uh, here's your answer if you're trying to find some palettes for pixel art because i know many people are actually into making pixel art which is pretty interesting anyways that's all for this video i'll see you in the next one and retro on